Hello, welcome back to the Lotus Reiki Healer YouTube channel. We're back at it again with another pick a pile tarot card reading. Um, I will get into how to pick a pile in the event that this is your first time uh, viewing one of these readings. However, I do want to welcome in anyone who is new, anyone who is just dropping in, and all of my returning subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, if this is your first pick a pile uh, tarot card reading, uh, the way that you would go about picking the pile for you is you would view the piles. You could select by the indicators or you can um, analyze the piles and then close your eyes and see which one of the piles is still very like um, like visual to you in your mind's eye. One of my uh, techniques on picking a pile is going to the um, description, the time stamps in the description, excuse me. And I pick based off of the uh, time stamp. So we're gonna go ahead and get into pile number one. Okay, so pile number one, what needs healing? I pre-shuffled all the piles. And when I went to turn over the message for pile number one, um, I saw the uh, wisdom card, the uh, emotional uh, loss card, and they were fives. And the next card that I uh, picked up as I was picking up, I said, what are the odds that this is going to be another five card? And it was conflict and defeat. And so five, 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 it does talk about change here. Um, and I thought that that was so neat that you guys got an angel number and a message within uh, this message. And so if you've made it to this pile, then there is definitely something here for you. Anyhow, um, just in a nutshell, I definitely do see that uh, this pile has experienced loss of some sort. And um, to be honest with you, due to the 555, it feels like there has been like multiple, it's been maybe even a, um, a storyline, right? Like a repeated storyline of experiencing loss. So you may have had to let go of uh, certain habits, certain behaviors, certain people, certain like relationships uh, with, uh, you know, friends, family, or loved ones. Um, but I definitely do see that there has been some type of conflict uh, that has happened that has affected you on a um, psychological level. You're just not the version of you that is whole, uh, you know, anymore. It just feels like there are parts of you that are scattered and or that are left behind, um, which makes me think that there are maybe maybe there were words or maybe there were, you know, behaviors that made you believe that um, certain parts of you were not worthy. Certain parts of you, um, you know, may not be valuable to hold on to, um, making you believe that you are someone who, uh, you know, hence is not worthy, hence is not valuable. And I'm seeing that there is a level of truth that needs to be um, revisited, right? In my ebook, I mentioned how one of the techniques to overcome uh, emotional trauma due to, you know, whatever these traumatic events were, is to uh, write a list of these beliefs that we have in our head and then go back to this list and let, you know, kind of go over what is truth and what is not based off of our uh, experience, like based off of our, um, you know, background. So, for example, if someone says like, oh, everything you do, every time you get involved with something, you um, you mess it up. However, you've experienced maybe once or twice where you've, you know, helped a random stranger or called somebody out of nowhere and they say to you, wow, that was exactly what I needed to hear or stuff like that. Like this is you building up that understanding that that can't be true um, and things like that. And maybe certain things have happened where you think 
in your head, right? Maybe you've experienced certain loss or certain conflicts and experienced what you may interpret as a defeat. Whereas you can go into your mind's eye or into your, uh, you know, your experience. You know, you can see how what you add to the table does succeed. You might even put your, um, you know, energy towards achieving a goal, whether that's school, whether that's, you know, maybe losing weight or whether that's anything. And, you know, you might look in the mirror or you may be around people who uh tell you you can't lose weight or you know oh we're all fat you you gonna be fat like it just whatever and then you put your effort to losing weight you put your effort to getting good grades or putting yourself into school or putting yourself in whatever program and then you pass a semester you achieve a certificate you lose a few pounds or whatever the case is whatever it is that they're saying whatever seed had been planted um, that made you feel defeated when you heard it or when you accepted it as your truth, you're able to then use this exercise to say, nope, because this is not true because this is the actual truth. And then you will start building up your, uh, you know, your self-esteem in that way, rebuilding your mindset, uh, reframing the programming that puts you in these positions to be open to new beginnings because we are seeing new beginnings and prosperity begins here. And I do, I feel like you have a wealth of wisdom in a certain, um, you know, line of work, a certain um, idea. And I feel like, you know, somewhere, somehow, there is some type of um, hesitancy to move forward with those ideas, with those uh, new beginnings, because I don't feel like with the balance card in the reverse and the balance card has uh it reminds me of the magician card it has the wands as the pinnacle it has the cup as the swords like you have everything you need but what needs to be healed is that you don't think that and because you're not necessarily seeing how much value you have and how much power you hold it's preventing you from taking certain steps forward to move forward towards what it is you're actually capable of. Um, right. And so we're also noticing how uh, privileged you are. I feel like you are uh, spiritually uh, inclined. I feel like you are spiritually equipped and, um, you know, just divinely prepared to uh, weed out false people, uh, which is why you lost those people and you didn't lose them. They lost you. Um, you know, I feel like spirit has endowed you with a bunch of experiences to learn from, to grow from, and to also, uh, lead from. And I do believe that somewhere in that process of becoming who you are today, you have allowed, um, you know, at no fault of your own, because, you know, trauma affects everybody differently. Um, but something has planted a seed, something has rooted and we need to unroot the um, negative seed that was planted because you are a very privileged uh, individual and you're not seeing that, you know, you are someone who is very much so capable to create uh, great things and prosperity and new beginnings. I do believe that you even shake up other people's lives and make them pursue new beginnings. And maybe even make other people feel very empowered, you know? And to be honest, if you couldn't empower, empower some people on your journey to this point, it's because you were supposed to see what it was, what it looks like when you don't act in an empowered way, when you don't act in a uh, positive, um, you know, movement forward. You know, like people allow certain things to become their blocks. But I think that that was more so for you to accept as your lesson or your example of what not to do instead of, you know, becoming tarnished. Is that a word that I want to use? Instead of becoming um, hardened, I'll use that based off of the experiences with those people. And so we have some... 
oracle messages here um some crystal messages is where i'll start off and so i have here the emerald card it says i earn income doing what i love i am successful in all my pursuits and i think that that right there is going to be one of those affirmations to add once you debunk the false narratives that is one that you'll want to add it says releasing limiting beliefs regarding money increase financial success attract extreme wealth um increase abundance in all areas of life cultivate authentic relationships and i do i feel like the emerald message is letting you know how much power you have right it's saying you release limiting beliefs you increase financial success you attract extreme wealth you increase abundance in all areas of life you cultivate relationships or authentic relationship it says i earn unlimited income doing what i love i am successful in all my pursuits so one it's reprogramming your thinking patterns is something to remove that negative uh self-talk and you know replace it with something positive uh as far as your programming your new programming but it's also to let you know how empowered you need to take on uh the mindset the new mindset okay the chrysocola healing uh message is my body and mind are in balance i am healthy reduce inflammation release anger and resentment heal old mental and emotional wounds improve inner peace balance mind body and emotions yeah for sure i definitely feel like when we talk about balance uh within the reverse and then the uh positive movement forward in the uh blockage position it's definitely um you know letting us know that there is an imbalance in your thinking patterns which is affecting outwardly what you do in the physical and so there is a need to release anger and resentment towards you know whatever those experiences were um heal those uh mental and emotional wounds for one that it was that was caused by those experiences but two that attracted you and kept you into those places with those people to experience those events um improve your inner peace balance your mind body and emotions there's another one labradorite one of my favorites because it looks like the peacock uh, feather. It says, I take time for reflection and see life from a higher perspective. Observe life from a greater perspective. Reflect on inner light. Develop consistent spiritual practices. Increase spiritual awareness. Meditate regularly. And so when we talk about reprogramming ourselves and our minds and things like that, one of the things that are very important uh, with that is the time to uh, experience mindfulness activities. And so with meditate regularly and develop consistent spiritual practices, it's very much letting you know, this is how you're going to reprogram those thoughts. It's not necessarily um, one and done when you write these things down and when you debunk these, uh, you know, these internal stories that are rooted now based off of this traumatic event. Or whatever those traumatic events were it's saying that at this point we need to actively put ourselves in balance we need to actively create a um you know healthy routine that is going to put us in this position where we can feel empowered to put ourselves right to releasing the limiting beliefs and to you know increasing our uh feelings of being capable, right? Like whatever it was that, you know, took place, I am willing to bet it wasn't a one day thing. I'm willing to bet that it was over a course of time. Therefore, it's going to take a course of time to release that type of programming so that you can create a new programming. And so practices are definitely needed. Reprogramming, um, you know, uh, routines is definitely needed. Okay. Copper. The message is I am a could do it for goodness and prosperity. I receive inspiration and great wealth. Be a clear could do it for messages and inspiration and could do it. If you don't know, means a channel, 
okay? So be a clear channel for messages and inspiration. Complete inventions, formulas, and creative works. Amplify courage and confidence. With the complete inventions, formulas, and creative works, amplify courage and confidence. I understand that these things were directly targeted because for one, that's what the enemy wants. And we're not here to talk about like, you know, religions and this and this and that. But even if you are this person who is uh, invoking newness in the people, maybe even requiring them to up their standards or up what it is that they have to offer to the world or to you. It's going to make some people who are who are determined to stay at a low vibration. It's going to make them triggered. If you're coming from the ebook thing, you know that people sometimes react out of aggression and anger in order to gain back control. And so whether it was spiritually the enemy or whether it was someone who was spiritually being or acting, you know, out, um, you know, uh, trying to make you feel limited about yourself in order to make themselves feel more better, more important, more empowered. This was a soul attack on your confidence and your courage. And what you want to do at this point is we need to amplify those things. We need to clear out those spaces, maybe even do some root chakra healing, some solar plexus healing, some sacral chakra healing so that we can amplify these things so that we can create and complete, you know, inventions, formulas and creative works, right? So that we can continue to be um, or, you know, start to be a clear channel for messages and inspiration. All right. Because like I said, you are someone who is impactful and that is what you do best. And so um, let's not allow that to stay minimized based on, you know, someone else who was only trying to control you. Right. All right. The blue tiger's eye. It is easy for me to see beyond the obvious. I am focused on my own sacred path. Calm mental chatter and clear confusion. Take steps to gain a new perspective on life. Increase emotional balance. So definitely increasing emotional balance is going to be important. But I want to go back to the um, calm the mental chatter and gain a new perspective on life. The Labrador right as well as the Blue Tigers, I both mentioned take steps to gain a new perspective on life and I take the time for reflection and see life from a higher perspective and so there just needs to be a shift in our perspective and that's what needs healing and so I do hope that this message serves you pile one um no matter where you came from to get here I hope that you take with you an empowered message and that you take some empowerment steps to get to the place where the blockages and the uh, hurt of whatever caused uh, this experience or this perspective um, are no longer controlling you in your time and your steps moving forward. I wanted to add the messages from uh, the messages from heaven uh, cards because Perhaps what needs it to be healed isn't even physically available anymore. Sometimes losing someone uh, close to us uh, does cause trauma. And so uh, I watch over you every day. I have become one of your guys. I have new understandings. Um, I just feel like with these messages, for one, do what you will with them, right? Understand what those things mean to you. But two, I just do believe that there are... Um, you know, healing messages here. So I'll just leave it there. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend with me here. And um, if you decide to stick around, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell so you know any and every time that I post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. Pile 2, you are the Disney Villains Tarot deck. And, uh, you are also the Fortune from the Fortune Cookie. Um, I also want to mention how like the weather started to change as soon as I started to spread out your cards. So let's get into the messages. I do want to read the uh, fortune for you. It says you are filled up with a sense of urgency. Be patient or you may end up confused. Um, yeah. And so what I am seeing here is that there is a redirection of your focus um, and I am feeling like there is a more very empowered, uh, you know, 
attitude about yourself these days or you know however recently i feel like there's been a burden that's been dropped however there is a um like a hesitancy to go into new um experiences and i feel like these are experiences that you would have otherwise been very interested in um right i just I, I also feel like there has been like a reawakening to like a self-importance like you're driven to realize your potential i feel like that but if i may without ruffling your feathers pile two i do feel like there, like this newfound self-empowerment um has been bought about based off of different disappointments and emotional pursuits and emotional romantic endeavors specifically and so i am seeing with the emperor card and the ten of wands in the reverse and if i may say so myself and y'all correct me in the comments if i'm going too far or if i'm on the if i'm on the right track or not um the emperor card talks about a father figure and i feel like there is a lack of uh activity as it pertains to you know perhaps your father figure or just a masculine energy at a as a whole um but this could be something that is can be said about your earliest representation of men um or masculine energy and so perhaps there was a lack of activity, a lack of participation with a male father figure um, or role model. And I feel like there is a lack of rest and a confusion as it pertains to what your, um, what your like role is as it pertains to what you can relax about and what you need to push forward with. I feel like you are in a hyper uh, masculine energy, perhaps. Um, give me a second. Let me say this. I feel like your energy is very much so go, go, go. Uh, specifically now. Um, because, but I also feel like it is not necessarily very grounded and very um like the direction is unclear and I do feel like it is because there has been a I do believe that it's because of the misrepresentation and or the lack of representation as it pertains to the masculine energy. And let me just get very clear on this because I am kind of like, you know, spacing off myself. And that's how I feel. Maybe this is your energy where you don't know where to aim your energies to. You don't know how or where to uh, direct your efforts to. When we talk about masculine and feminine energy, everyone has both. However, it feels like there's a disruption. That was the word I was looking for before. Yes, we get some lightning here. It feels like there was a disruption in your earliest uh, makeup of uh, energies, masculine and feminine. And it feels like perhaps you know how to, uh, you know, maybe you are a very... Um, aware person as it pertains to feminine energy indicated by the queen of coins uh you are very you have a very solid understanding of what feminine energy looks like or what it is how it is that you interpret it feminine energy with the judgment card there however when it comes to the uh emperor card it feels like there is a lack of uh burden it is a lack of work being done a lack of um character bu being built or experienced because it feels like it was not there uh it feels like there is a um let me explain it this way 
the queen of coins reminds me of the divine feminine and with the divine feminine energy right whether it's in a male or a female we can express uh nurturing we can express care and and things of that type of uh, uh sort we can even be very much so in our receptive energy as it pertains to uh being feminine However, with the divine masculine of divine masculine or masculine energy, which like I said, we all have in us, it is about getting things done. It is about achieving things, maybe even seeing our sights on something and then uh, calculating how to go and get it, how to bring it back. You know, it talks about action, do, 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 right? Um, and so I can see that you have an idea of what feminine energy and how to operate in it or how to operate around feminine energy but when it comes to the masculine energy being the emperor i feel like uh while there is a pedestal that i mean because i'm feeling in my reading right here i feel like it is grand a grandiose thought in your mind however there is a um uh, lapse in understanding of what to do it's a gap in clarity on how to behave whether that's around or whether that's in masculine energy and I do I feel like for me this reading is sharing that there is a lack of direction and or uh how to I wanted to say giddy up so maybe your behaviors or your actions are more like it's very scattered as it pertains to what you need to do or can do to set your goals out and to go and get it and to achieve it. Um, and so I see that you take action with a sense of urgency, bringing your, uh, you know, your signifier in here, the fortune. It says you are filled with, you are filled up with a sense of urgency. Be patient or you may end up confused. I'm feeling like there is an urgency that you have to be something, to do something, to um, accomplish something. This could be in business with the Queen of Coins. This could be in love with the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. This could be um, just you as a person. You may be so, um, right? Then we have the high honor. You may be in such a urgent space to want to achieve a level of respect to want to achieve a level of accomplishment to want to achieve some level of you know um romantic um stature if you will um or milestone but the direction or the the know-how to get from where you are to get to where that is is so unclear to you at this time and I do, I feel like there was a uh, masculine, because the King of Cups is here and it's in the reverse, uh, and the Two of Cups is clarifying it. I do, I feel like it was due to a lack of father figure representation, which I want to let you know as my viewer, whether you're new or returning or just visiting, that this is a very common thing that is unfortunate. However, you are not alone, okay? Um, and so let's get into some of your oracle messages to discuss how do we get from where we are now to where we can be in a more clear space, okay? So we have the golden topaz as our first crystal healing message. It says, I step forward with joy and enthusiasm. I see my path shining brightly before me. Visualize life purpose, amplify joy and bliss improve ability to speak up cultivate ease process all that is happening around and within and then we have jet this is our second and final crystal healing message it says i am always divinely protected i know i am safe release anxiety anger jealousy and frustration deflect negative energy practice meditation on a regular basis invoke divine protection so this is what i feel is gonna help how to i feel like with the masculine energy there is a the anger towards that person um 
and not necessarily the character in a, a family it is to that individual and maybe because you you know don't know that person whatsoever and so you're thinking maybe you're a parent or not but you're thinking uh how could you do this how could you have a kid or how could you you know bring me into the world and then not have anything to do with me and then maybe you've seen that in your relationships because i do see also that it does affect your relationships um anyway so i'm seeing that there is some type of uh you know hostility and uh you know frustration with the masculine energy this is based off of the person that you have had as the representation of this uh figure i do want to say that you're getting a message to release anxiety release anger release jealousy release frustration re deflect the negative energy from this uh person who created this energy for you and not saying that it's their fault there is their fault i don't want to ever validate us b blaming anybody for things we have the power to heal from okay so i don't want to do that but i do want to say that there is an anger towards the divine masculine energy based off of this person's action or inaction and what i'm getting that you should do to heal this and overcome it is to release that um because i feel very strongly that when you're releasing it what in whatever method you choose to do right you could uh one make excuses for that person and say hey they were not mature enough they were not equipped enough in whatever specific uh you know points make that true for you you know and you can let that person off the hook that way and allow yourself to make room for um you know a, a more positive male role model a more positive male representation whether that is you or whether that is another you know opening up the opportunity for the universe to add that into your experience because this is what i'm getting is that because that mindset and that understanding is so deeply rooted it is preventing you from even tuning into alternative options as it pertains to what it is that you've already decided the divine masculine is for sure. And so there needs to be like a, a, a reprogramming, not necessarily because you've already seen the evidence of it, but because you want to. So it's saying to visualize life purpose, amplify joy, improve, yeah, all of that. But it's saying what I get from this is to offer the universe the opportunity to reset that understanding for you right or reset yourself so that the universe has the opportunity to uh provide you different programming i don't know if that made sense i'm trying to say allow yourself to be healed right ask the universe to you know help you heal uh you know pray about it talk to a therapist about it um go, like i said you could write that person off to say to yourself listen this person wasn't adding anything great to my life in the event that they would have been in my life on a, on a full-time basis it probably would have only led to you know bad news so with that being said i'm not going to associate this person with all of with masculine energy as a whole i'm going to release the um the connection of who i see as a masculine energy who i allow to be the foundation of my information as it pertains to divine masculinity and i'm going to allow the universe to show me differently and that is what is right processing all that is happening within and around process that this person wasn't shit this person was a piece of crap right based off of their decisions not based off of them having divine masculine energy and then that's allowing you to um invoke divine protection Pro uh protect me from people like that universe protect me from low effort uh you know masculine energies that think that just because they have a 
penis between their legs that that makes them a man protect me from you know negative energies that I feel when I think about this person help me process those things you know and then you know amplify joy amplify bliss universe I dare you you can do this you could tell the universe say I dare you to bring me a positive idea a positive version of what that divine masculine looks like I promise you, I feel very strongly that the universe is going to um, present you with, or they're going to show up to that bet. And I bet you, you're going to be able to realize, which means like put into a real, um, right? To realize, meaning to cultivate that type of experience. And so... Um, let's get to the other messages. It says, I am standing right next to you. My mind is free. I will always point you in the right direction. We are so connected. Remember me by the happy memories we created. I am so much better now. And so let me say this. The masculine energy that you may be thinking of um, could be in a spiritual form now, right? And so... The, I say that to say whether it was a good experience or a negative experience that you had with this masculine energy, I think that that person has definitely improved their mindset based off like, you know, being able to see their life or the situation from a higher perspective. Um, if this is not that masculine energy, you could just have spiritual protection and or ancestors that are always with you and that are always guiding you. Um, you know, they're connected with you, whether that's, you know, just based on you being open to receiving guidance or them, uh, saying, Hey, we're blood related. Like I got you. Um, remember me by the happy memories we created. And so I don't know if you, uh, want to relate this to your ancestors, whomever that may be that you have had experiences with on the 3d, or if you want to relate this to that masculine energy, and remember me by the happy memories we created. Perhaps that person only had those, you know, only had a limited amount of positive in them for whatever reason that their mental makeup, you know, offered them to offer outwardly, you know. Um, so, you know, sometimes you just have to not necessarily even cut them some slack, but to give yourself some peace. It's like, okay, listen, this person wasn't even able to offer me peace and ease because they didn't have it for themselves. And then you can think about and maybe only consider them when it comes to the happy memories that you had and allow them to kind of just release that tension and allow them to freely roam. That way you can freely release the burden uh, that they, you know, cause. Because another thing that I'm seeing with the tarot cards is this person doesn't know what they did. You know, whether they're here or they're out or they're not, this person isn't necessarily burdened by what it is that they did or did not do. And so why should you? Okay. Wealthy man and gift, uh, high honor. Yeah. I just feel like there are better options available, uh, as it pertains to what a masculine energy can offer. And I feel like there has to be room that you allow that to come in, whether that's you being a higher honorable male, right? Uh, with a wealthy um, amount of, um, you know, just things to offer, whether that is finances or whether that is time, whether that is emotional stability or support um, and, you know, things of that nature or whether that's you attracting someone with those qualities, it is available. I believe that it's necessary for you to let the universe know hey, I understand this isn't all masculine men. This isn't all what, like, this isn't everybody. I want to, you know, and then just turn to the new universe. I want to experience something new. Show me something new, right? Um, so you got to give the universe the opportunity to show you that. You have to give the opportunity room to experience, for you to experience it. All right, so that is your reading pile too. I do hope that there was something that you could take from this reading. Um, please don't forget to like this video on your way out. Um, feel free to choose any other pile if you were attracted to that. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.
All right, last but definitely not least, pile number three, this is your reading. The question that we're discussing today is what needs healing? Let's get into it. I am seeing you're coming up as the wounded warrior. And with that being said, it looks like you are replacing emotional um, like interactions. And um, like, it's like you're kind of, um, right. You, it's like you're kind of being stoic maybe due to uh, certain um, disappointments and betrayals in the past. Um, this could have been betrayals that took place in your home life. It could have took place in certain unions that you were in, whether that was like communities or um, like romantically. I am seeing that you are someone who is putting on a really brave face and, um, you know, maybe moving around as as we talked about like the wounded heal, heal excuse me the wounded healer it could be or the wounded um like warrior this is i mean and let's say let's stay with wounded healer because i am seeing the uh nine of of wands it's the nine of wands uh under or clarifying the star card and so it's like you are kind of in a outwardly way you know maybe giving advice giving uh encouraging words and um being very uh positive on the outside but what's going on in the inside is some dissatisfaction from you know i'm seeing romantic situations um and just certain disappointments that have taken place I'm seeing that all of your Kipper um, Oracle cards are in the reverse. And so I feel like you are uh, kind of closing out the opportunity of experiencing community, whether that is, you know, just being in hermit mode um, from people in general. And that's what I'm picking up. But you're also like maybe not accepting any love offers, especially if you are attracted to male, um, like male genders. Mm you know, masculine energy, right? Um, definitely not, um, uh, focused on anything that pertains to like romance, but also I'm seeing this as, as a, a community as whole as a, a whole, but let me say this with this energy, you are creating blockages as it pertains to like income and finances and maybe even good connections in the community, with your like hesitation to put yourself out there again and i know put yourself out there is like just like a cliche way of saying being open to meeting new people being open to experiencing the company of others and it's not to say that you don't have your reasons right and that they're not valid it's just to say that there are better ways of processing what you have gone through yeah is there anything specific? Strength mm, and yeah, you could be very financial focused, financially focused right now. And this could be a coping mechanism because the what's going on in your romantic life isn't um, going well. I also feel like like I said, with being stoic, there's like this like um, coldness that you have as it pertains to like things of romance uh, or community as a whole. And it is, you know, it's almost like a personality trait right now is that, oh, I don't need that type of stuff. I don't want that type of stuff. I don't want to be involved with that type of stuff. However, again, I think that what why it needs to be healed, because no one is saying that you're wrong for feeling this way. Why it needs to be healed is because the way that you are um, showing up in the world is creating blockages for people who may be able to, you know, um, be in your network for reasons that will bring you prosperity. And maybe, you know, a journey, let's say, right? Like a journey. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. It's just like going on throughout your day in appearing to be closed off from, right, be, appearing to being closed off from 
uh, you know, uh, distractions is how you're coming across. It's that it feels like from the outside looking in that anyone who in, who gets in your way is a distraction and that you're not interested in, um, you know, partaking. And I understand you probably being like, you're right. I don't want da 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 da. They are distractions da 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 da. But there's like a better way to see it. So let's see what we can find. Um, you know, as far as information for you to heal. And so we have the crystal oracle uh, messages and it says, I am always at the right place at the right time with the right people. Improve timing, increase the occurrence of synchronistic opportunities, be inspired with creative ideas, develop understanding of various cultures and uh, spiritual philosophies. So this feels like a, a new level of openness um, to the process, you know, I feel like maybe the experiences that you've had up to this point have been disappointing and been, um, you know, less than what you have expected. But I feel like with um, the toy coys, uh, you know, crystal message, it's saying develop understanding of various cultures and spiritual philosophies. But it also mentions to like uh, increase the occurrence of synchronistic opportunities. Maybe, and I'm not here to blame you, but maybe what you were open to before wasn't on the level of which you would be, uh, you know, what you would agree your worth and value is. And with that being said, maybe you've experienced these lackluster relationships and situationships and, you know, partners, whether that's friendships or not, or not. Perhaps you experienced those people because you, one, were either coming into a situation with those types of, uh, you know, uh, mentalities, right? Right. How could you benefit from a situation? Uh, you know, uh, maybe what? Wanting to offer the, le the least for the most, you know, um, perhaps you were uh, not realizing your value, Right. And then coming into situations, accepting anything that was given because you didn't know that you should be requiring more. And so with that being said, those were situations that took place in the past. However, in the event that you at this moment, you know, vibed up, you know, maybe take your own advice on how to overcome this woundedness then it's possible that you can start to then uh, acquire or start to gravitate um, or even uh, what is the word that I'm trying to say? You can start magnetizing with intention opportunities that match the type of quality of people you want to be around, the type of opportunities you want to experience, um, right? The certain outcomes you would prefer be inspired with creative ideas. And to be honest with you, I think that that was a creative idea that was meant to inspire you. Develop understanding of various cultures and philosophies, spiritual philosophies. To be honest, this is what I think. With that being said, I think that there is a closed mindedness to how you approach relationships, people in different maybe like cultures or different people who share different understandings as you. And it's not to say that you need to develop what their understanding is. It's to say that you have to change or accept that your perspective isn't the only one out there and to maybe just grow a level of respect and tolerance for that type of stuff. And those types of interactions from those type of people, you know, that you're going to start to magnetize that are going to have different beliefs than you. But there are going to be quality, valuable people, because regardless of what people try to tell you uh, or tell people, not all of us are the same. Right. Like we're not all, you know, um, like people try to say, oh, nobody's more important than the other. And it's not to say that no one is bad you know what i'm saying like no that no one is uh worthless we're not here to call people worthless that's not our place but if we want better and we're pursuing better and we are encouraging other people to be better then damn it we might be a little bit better than people who don't do those things or who are 
committed to not doing those things, right? You've ever, I'm sure, I know this, Paul has experienced some energy vampires, right? You've experienced some people who only want to take from you and don't have anything to offer back to you. And I say that to say, and with intentions, whether, you know, if they're doing it accidentally, then hopefully they get better, right? But those people who have intentionally drained you dry of, you know, your optimism, of your, um, you know, loving uh, compassion for others, you know what I mean? If those people intentionally did that and you're not that type of person, then damn it, you might be considered better than that person. You know, everybody wants to be like anti-bully. Let's not hurt people's feelings. Um, sometimes things just need to be said, right? Another card that may relate to this uh, this deck or this pile, uh, I say may because, you know, I just discovered it as I was pulling your cards out. Anyway, let's move along. Um, Tiger Iron. I am grateful for other people's fortune. It brings me joy to see others experiencing happiness, feel safe and protected, improve self-esteem and self-confidence, dissipate jealousy, extend blessings and goodwill to others, increase philanthropic actions. So I know as a philanthropist, you are going to be working with other people, right? You might have a lot more patience with people. You might even have a lot more like, uh, we talked about tolerance and, and, uh, understanding other cultures and things like that. And so I think that, um, it's saying increase philanthropic actions. And so in developing, understand, develop understanding of various cultures and spiritual philosophies, I feel like this is inviting you to allow a different, you know, a uh, set of people in like, maybe there is a hesitancy to engage with a certain crowd um right uh there might be a hesitancy to engage period however i believe that on your way of you know um clearing and making room for you know a different quality of uh you know interactions you're going to run into people that you may not have otherwise been around or attracted to let me say this i think the blockages because we saw all of the uh, kipper deck cards in the reverse there may be a perspective you have about a specific type of person a specific demographic or whatever it is and uh the way that the universe is communicating to you that that's not the reaction that's not the way they want you to think is that they are blocking out certain um opportunities you know certain qualities of you know um suitors and, and and different things maybe uh traveling opportunities and things like that it's just that the perspective is so what it is that the universe is trying to use these blockages to redirect that uh energy that you're putting out it's meeting you with blockages because there are things that you still need to learn in order to get to a more uh, healed and a more receptive, um, a more receptive place, right? A more receptive energy. Um, yes, that's what I'm strongly seeing. So let's read the, uh, other Oracle cards you have here. These are messages from heaven. And this is just in case this was what needed to be healed. And so, um, we have, we have been together in dreams. Don't be afraid. It is beautiful where I am. It was my time to go. I had to leave that way. And so perhaps there is this fear of living. This is a fear of experiencing life because maybe you've experienced um, loss in a way where you're, you know, maybe um, kind of hesitant to do or be more because maybe you haven't seen anybody do or be more around you. Or because maybe somebody who did do those things experienced such a hardship that you, um, or such a outcome that you are kind of paralyzed in fear. Um, and so there's that. Maybe you are afraid to experience the same outcome as them or whatever that fate was. 
uh, we have been together in dreams. Um, I feel like there may be someone that you have actually, you know, lost, uh, emotionally, um, right? Like, excuse me, you, someone has crossed over and they may have visited you and they're saying to you, this is an actual thing. We have actually experienced each other in the three or in the 5D. It was, it is beautiful where I am. And so I'm hearing that, you know, obviously you feel free to mourn however you feel you need to, but whomever this energy on the other side might be, they have crossed over, uh, uh, successfully and they are experiencing better than what it is that they, um, they had experienced during their time here. I, it was my time to go. I had to leave that way. I really feel like for whomever this pile uh, resonates with, you know exactly what this means. And I feel like these came out the way uh, they did in this uh, reading because you needed to hear that. And so I also want this uh, to to be a reminder that if you're experiencing, and I'll tell you guys my story with this. Uh, I have been recently, just this week, it's Friday, uh, the first week of September 2023, and I have passed by just in my daily commutes on the way to appointments or on the way back from like classes, I have passed by the hospital where my mom passed away at, uh, just randomly, just I don't ever be in this area, and two times this week, I have passed by this place. And um, it's definitely been something where I'm like, what's the connection? What's this and what's that? And I understand that um, the messages here for me is that, for one, you might be a little upset at the way it happened, but it was supposed to happen this way. I had to leave that way. Maybe for that person's spiritual experience and the way that they, you know, agreed to this life path, this is the way they had to go to make the impact on their soul, to make the impact on the lives of those who they left behind um, and not left behind because we did see we have been together in dreams. So they're still very much available. My mom is still very much available. It was my time to go. To be honest with you, I love my mom very much, but she was not tenacious enough and or a willing, like she didn't have enough willingness to accept change that the world that we live in now would have required. You know, there's been a lot of different uh, things that have come out in the news in order to like fear monger people and uh, to shake up the, uh, the masses to this new change that, you know, whatever. And so I know for a fact that my mom and I love her very much, but she was not very um, tenacious. You know, she was very strong and very powerful as far as uh, being able to get through things. But she did take a lot of things as a personal blow or a personal attack um, with the skill set, uh, the life skill set that she developed from her childhood. And so um, I do know for a fact that it was for her. It was best for her to go when she went so that the world did not continue to burden her. Um, anyway, and it says, I, it is beautiful where I am. There's a beautiful life, a beautiful spiritual space that our loved ones are experiencing. And when people say they're in a better place, that's exactly what that means. And so there needs to be an openness that we have to new experiences, to a new chapter that is our lives. And the, the experiences that we experienced in the past, we need to experience a, a more tenacious approach, being willing to accept change, being willing to accept that those things didn't work, but that doesn't mean that what's coming doesn't isn't going to work. And even to start to t talk to spirit and say, make me, bring to me the uh, mindsets, the opportunities, the clarity that I need so that I can move forward from this space of time into the time that's going to come so that I can make the most out of the opportunities that present themselves. And I think that that's what we're getting when it says increase the occurrence of synchronistic opportunities. Ask for those synchronistic opportunities, but also request that the universe, God, Buddha, whomever it is that you speak to, um, 
help you become a person who's prepared and able to make the most of that change in um, the space and different opportunities that show themselves. Anyhow, pile three, since we have opened up to each other <laughs> and we have uh, spent this time, I do hope that this message does resonate and does help and make an impact on you and your life and mindset on your way out. Uh, feel free to like this video, share this video if you know someone who can benefit from the messages here. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.